This gives an example how to use a RGC and a RGV to control a program's behavior. The program checks whether a RGC is at least two. The reason is that this program needs to use a RGV one later. A program's a RGC is at least one because a RGV zero is always the program's name. If the program has no additional argument, then a RGC is one and a RGV with index one does not exist. Please always remember that the first argument has index zero, not one. This program needs one additional argument. In other words, it needs a RGV one. If no argument is given, this program cannot do its job. Thus, the program prints a message and then returns exit failure. This is the first example using exit failure. By returning exit failure, this program indicates that it is unable to do its job. In a C program, the MIN function is the starting point. If this function returns, the program stops. If a RGC is at least two, the program continues. STRTOL is a function that converts a string to a long integer. STRTOL needs three arguments. The first is a string. The second is an address to store the location where conversion stops. In this example, I give an ULL to indicate that I do not care about the location. The third argument is the base. In this example, I use 10 to convert the string to a decimal number. Therefore, it is 10. It is necessary to convert a RGV with index 1 to an integer because a RGV1 is a string, not an integer. The next line adds 10 to VAL. The next two lines print the string RGV1 and the integer VAL. The program has successfully converted RGV1 to an integer, stores the value in VAL, adds 10 to VAL, and prints the result. Thus, the program returns exit success to indicate that it has done the job successfully. Let us review what this program teaches us. We can use a RGC and a RGV to control a program's behavior. Before using an element in a RGV, we must check a RGC to ensure that the element exists. We can use the value of a RGC as a condition. If a program cannot do its job, the program should return exit failure. Let's run the program. First, Use GCC to convert the program to an executable file. By default, the name of the executable file is a.out. If we run the program without any additional argument, the program prints a message saying that it needs a number. If we run the program with argument 264, the program prints a RGV1 as a string of 264. The string is converted to an integer and stored in VAL. The value increments by 10 and it becomes 274. If we give the 2020, the program prints the string RGV1 as a string of 2020. VAL is 2030. We can give more arguments. The program takes only RGV1 and ignores the additional arguments.